if everybody on this video wants to take advantage of this market, close the gap on the agents that are ahead of you, um, grow your business in the growing season. Um, if you're excited about the opportunity to learn everything I have to offer and you're going to take full advantage and take action, um, type me or yes down in the comments below because, you know, real estate itself and everything in life is all about who's going to take the knowledge that they've learned and actually apply it to uh, and take action, massive action. I know there's a lot of new uh, agents in this coaching group that signed up just for this. So um, welcome to everybody who, who signed up just to do this 30 day jump start. Um, today I'm going to go into uh, a couple of things. Um, I have to get your mind right. I have to actually, um, you know, restructure the way you think um, between there's two seasons in the year. There's the selling season and the buying season. Okay, so we're going to do uh, a mindset change, and then I'm also going to tell you what you need to do this first week, the action you need to take to actually start to get results to take advantage of the slow time of year. Um, you know, and what we're going to do is there may be some other agents doing the same thing maybe in your market, but they're not going to do it to the level that we're going to do it at. OK, we're going to this is a chance to close the gap between all the other agents. Um, this is a chance to really um, this is where you become number one in your area. When you work through the off season, the way that I'm going to program you to work. Um, eventually, you're going to catch up to all the top producers and you're going to blow past them. Um, this is exactly how I have become the top agent in my area, and I've closed the gap little by little by little um, over the years and then surpassed everyone, but that's not good enough for me. Now I'm in competition with myself, and I want to continue to widen that gap every year. I don't want there to be a close second um, behind me, somebody on my heels. I want to be so far out ahead of everybody that nobody can catch up. And then I want to go even further than that. I'm going to continue to widen the gap between me and the other agents, you know, and one day I'm going to wake up and some young buck like me is going to come up and beat me and I'm going to go have lunch with him, shake his hand and say, congratulations, you know, let's be friends because, you know, you're the next Ricky. So um, it's exciting. I feel like I'm in the prime of my career. I have the the dialogue down. I've been through all the different scenarios of the market. I've been through all the different scenarios of how phone calls go. Um, I've been through every little twist and turn you could think of. I've tried every little thing there is to create business and real estate. And I just feel like I've, I've got it fine tuned and uh, even down to what we're doing now, which is through the year, what you do through the year to actually uh, capitalize and uh, try to reach your full potential because that's what we're trying to do guys we are trying to reach our full potential everyone has a different level of their full potential um, not everybody has the same level of potential okay so this is something you need to understand you need to understand that your full potential represents a cup and your cup represents how much business you can handle at one time. So your job to reach your full potential is to overwhelm yourself with business to a point where your cup is completely full. You can't handle anymore. And I think a lot of agents are scared of that level of business because it means that they have to be accountable to so many people. They have so much responsibility that they have to uh, you know, be be accountable for um, that it scares them. Um, they don't want to have to commit that hard or, you know, give up that much time or not give the customer service that they want to give to everybody because 
they have too many clients going on at one time. So um, I think it is our job if we want to reach our full potential to reach the pinnacle of how full our cup, how big our cup is, and then start realizing how do we fill the cup up and how do we fill it up with the right things. See, a lot of people, they, um, they, a lot of agents, they fill their cup up with the wrong actions. Um, and they, they think they, they have it in their mind that they're, they're doing what's most productive, but they're not. Um, most agents, probably 80 or 90% of the actions they take are not the most productive. Um, it's not, uh, you have to understand the, what's important, the things that are actually going to grow your business, right? And the things that aren't important and the things that don't grow your business. Now there's a lot of things in real estate that you have to do that doesn't grow your business that you have to do. Um, you know, the paperwork, the, this, the, that, all the administrative things that, um, come into play that have to get done, right? But they don't necessarily grow your business. So when I talk about things that are very important, that aren't very important, I'm talking about things like making sure your business cards are just right and making sure your website looks perfect and, um, you know, role playing all day instead of making phone calls. Um, you know, stuff like that doesn't matter if you don't have any clients, if you don't have any a pipeline of business. Your job as an agent is to fill your cup up, which is overwhelm yourself with business for as much as you can possibly handle, and then have a pipeline built, a pipeline of now business and future business. Okay? So the zero to diamond philosophy is is that you work 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 hard for tomorrow and because of how much work you put into tomorrow's business which is going to be huge because you're putting so much energy into tomorrow's business that you reap the benefits of so much short-term business in the meantime this is literally how I've built my business It's the philosophy the zero to diamond philosophy um, so today we're going to embark on this journey to take it a complete step further. We're going to go even further than just the general philosophy of work hard for tomorrow. Work so hard for tomorrow that you have business today. We're going to take it a step further and we're going to go deeper into now the market is slowing down for the season and we're going to take full advantage of. Of, of this situation of the market being down and the other agents slacking off so that we can grow our business, acquire more market share, and close the gap on the agents that are ahead of us or widen the gap uh, of the agents that are behind us. And so there's a lot of benefits to what we're doing uh, that we're going to go through today. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about mindset of working this angle of the selling season and the growing season. Um, let's talk about what we have to be thinking about and how we have to uh, perceive the situation in the market because here's the problem. And this is what I really want you guys to, to really get in your minds about this is that most agents they do they take the same actions all year long they take the same actions of whatever actions they take of generating leads and you know uh, showing properties and whatever their daily habits their monthly weekly habits are they they don't change up they continue doing the same stuff all year long and these are just average agents, okay? If you want to go to the next level, if you want to be a top producer, number one in your area, um, 
you have to think differently because there are different seasons in every market. If you don't take advantage of what each season presents to you, then you're just going to be average. See, the above average agent sees this as an opportunity, right? They also see um, the market crashing as an opportunity. You know, when the market crashes and the market goes down, that's the same thing as a seasonal downturn. It's just bigger. Um, a market crashing is nothing more than a long winter, right? And there's so much opportunity when the market crashes. Um, when the market goes down and other agents either leave the business or start slacking off because it's the holidays and they've already made their money for the year and they're content, this is where you can acquire more market share. This is where you um, really build your business. And when the market crashes for, you know, like six months or a year or two years, you can tremendously grow. You can tremendously pick up so much market share.